Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Bobby, and in this short video today, I'm going to talk about how you can vary the length in your bunker shots. Now, I have a flag, oh, about 20 feet away from me, and another back there closer to 40 feet away. And the question that I'd like to answer today is, what did I do differently? When I was hitting at this 20-foot flag, versus when I'm trying to get it all the way back to that one that's closer to 35 or 40 feet away, what did I do different in the swing itself? All right and I hope that stays up. It comes down to this visual image that I've had for 25 years. And that is, I imagine for a moment, and I'd like you to imagine for a moment, that this is not a bunker anymore, that this is a concrete floor. And you're not gonna hit a golf ball. Instead, you're gonna bounce a golf ball off this concrete floor in such a way as to access this closer hole. Well, if you didn't want it to go very far, just go to this closer hole, you would throw the ball abruptly down, therefore it would ascend upward, and therefore not travel as fast. How would you do that differently if you wanted to go to the 140 feet away? Well, you'd throw it down on a shallower angle so that when it comes out, it comes out a little lower and therefore runs. When I have a short bunker shot, I think about the, the first example. That is that up, down, up thing. Kind of up in the back swing, and down in the, in the through swing, and then up again. It's sort of U-shaped. And when I do that, the ball tends to only go a short distance. All right, and there's our 20-footer again. When I want to go a little longer, I think about how my arm would work if I were skipping a rock on a pond. It would be more bowl-shaped, not U-shaped like the first one, but more bowl-shaped. Swing right through that thing, and if I can do that, I'll tend to get more distance on the shot. And that's the way I do it, and it's something I suggest you try as well. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next week.